Honda finally released stats about the new 2024 Prologue. Critical things like range and charging performance, you're gonna wanna know the details, so let's check it out. This is the automaker's first all-electric midsize SUV. Dimensionally, it's about three inches longer than a Honda Passport with a wheelbase that's almost 11 inches greater. A pioneer of sorts, the Prologue is the next step in this Japanese company's push to offer a 100% tailpipe emissions-free lineup by the year 2040. And I think this utility vehicle is a great start because it's handsome, spacious, and of course offers plenty of technology. Just like Acura's reborn ZDX, the Prologue here is based on GM's Altium platform, though of course this vehicle was styled in Honda's Los Angeles design studio. And I've got to say, this is an extremely handsome SUV. I think it might actually look better than the ZDX, but what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. Very clean and elegant front end. I like this rectangular section for the grille here. Of course, it is filled in since this is an EV. And that's flanked by similarly shaped headlamps that do flow into the side fenders. As for the hood, unfortunately, there's no front trunk, so I can't open that, but the hood is relatively long for a fairly sporty stance. There are seven exterior colors available on the Prologue, and this color is called North Shore Pearl, sort of a bluish green hue. Moving downward to the wheels, you can get up to 21s on this SUV, the largest ever fitted to a Honda from the factory, of course. So very nice wheels there. Moving rearward, we can get a sort of a scale, a sense of the scale of this SUV. They've really pushed the axles out to the far ends, a 121.8 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 192 inches. We've also got multi-link suspension front and rear, which should provide a sporty drive, and I'm thinking plenty of refinement. Okay, moving back, we can see the rear end of this vehicle. It pretty much matches the front. We have sort of squared off tail lamps and a blocky center section here with the Honda name spelled out opposed to a traditional H logo. This is something they're doing on their upcoming battery electric models. Also, while we're at the back, let's talk about the the back light, the rear window, it does seem fairly small, so I'm not sure how the rearward visibility will be in this SUV. Might be compromised, and we also have a commensurately tiny windshield wiper here to clean off that back glass. Now, Touring and Elite models, the two upper level trims, should both come standard with a power-operated lift gate, and if I pop that at the push of a button there, we can see it opens up very nicely all on its own, and that gives us about 25 cubic feet of storage space behind the split 60-40 second row backrest. But if you fold these down, that overall storage number increases to just about 58 cubes, which is a very impressive number, though that is not all because you get nearly one additional cubic foot of space underneath the floor. The Prologue will be available with either front or all-wheel drive, so no surprises there. Models fitted with four-corner power should have 288 horses and 333 pound-feet of torque. Very respectable numbers, if not quite mind-blowing figures for an EV. Now, unfortunately, at this point, Honda has not released any output figures for the front-drive powertrain, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now, we will get to the all-important battery specs here in just a minute, but first, Let's check out this interior. As you can see, the Prologue's cabin matches its exterior quite nicely. This interior is very understated and cleanly designed. The dashboard is strongly horizontal, just like you get in other recent Honda models. So there's a lot to like here. Plus, I love these very chunky controls, big dials and buttons that should be very easy to use. The Prologue has room for five people. These front seats seem pretty comfortable. The back bench is very roomy, and the backrest also adjusts to two different positions, of course, for added comfort. Now, when it comes to standard equipment, the base EX trim offers plenty, including things like heated front buckets, an eight-way power driver's seat with lumbar adjustability, you get dual-zone climate control, and then on the outside, 19-inch wheels. Other standard equipment includes a wireless charging pouch right here on the center console. We've also got an 11-inch digital instrument cluster. Top shelf Elite trim versions do come with a head-up display, always nice to have. And then on the center of the dashboard is an 11.3-inch touchscreen with Google built in. But 
What does that mean? Well, it means you have access to the Google Assistant, the Google Play Store, and then, of course, my personal favorite, since I'm usually getting lost when I'm driving, Google Maps. And the Maps app will also do a couple other EV-specific things. It should have dynamic route planning, as well as battery preconditioning capability for faster DC charging. The Honda Sensing suite of driver aids is also standard, and this includes a whole bunch of useful amenities, like rear cross-traffic braking, blind zone steering assist, and rear pedestrian alert, which should make it much more difficult to back over someone. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. Now, if a collision is unavoidable, of course, it's very unfortunate, but you will be in good hands because Honda projects that the Prologue will earn a five-star rating from NHTSA as well as Top Safety Pick Plus honors from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. And honestly, it doesn't get better than that. So when can you get one of these SUVs and how much will they cost? Well, I'll tell you that in just a second because first we've got to talk about the battery. The Prologue here will come with an 85 kilowatt hour lithium ion pack that should provide up to around 300 miles of range. That pack will also DC fast charge at a max of 155 kilowatts, which is a good performance, though not quite an industry leading one. Still, it's enough to get you 65 miles in just 10 minutes. But what do you think? Are those stats competitive going into the 2024 model year? Well, let us know down below. When it comes to pricing and availability, you should be able to pre-order a Honda Prologue starting later this year. Now, this vehicle will be offered in three different trim levels. There's EX, Touring, and Elite, and you can expect it to start in the upper $40,000 range before any government incentives or other tax credits, so be aware of those. Now, you can look for the new Honda Prologue at dealerships starting in early 2024, which I'm pretty sure is next year, but I better check my calendar. Next up, click right over here to learn more about the Acura ZDX. It is very closely related to the Honda Prologue, but plenty of unique features do differentiate these all-electric SUVs.